factors, the clinical presentations and the radiological correlation of lacrimal impacts. The aims and objectives of the study are aimed at evaluation, evaluating various risk factors for the lacunar impacts, the clinical presentations, as well as correlating the localization with the radiological image in the lacunar impacts. The method cross texture study was conducted on 100 patients. The recruited patients with lacunar impacts detected by either CT or MRI imaging to have an impact of size more than 3 mm but less than 2 mm, which is the definition of lacunar impact, and they were evaluated for the presence or absence of risk factors, the clinical presentations, and the localization on imaging and the presence of additional simultaneous lacunes, if any. The impacts that involve the cerebral cortex, uh, the extensive areas of the subcortical white matter or more than 2 cm in the greatest diameter were excluded from the study. Uh, the results showed the age less than 55 and more than 55. So it, it is very evident that more than 55 age has 82% probability of developing a lacunar stroke. Among the difference in the sexes, female sex have 46% whereas male sex has 64% probability of developing lacunar strokes and the BMI, so the lesser the BMI the lower chances whereas the more BMI more than 25 has 73 patients who develop lacunar stroke. Amongst the risk factors, hypertension was found to be the most important risk factor which was seen in 84% of the patients followed by smoking which was seen in 68% patients and then diabetes 56% patients. The other factors were alcohol, transient, transient ischemic attack TIA in the past, past history of a major stroke, family history of stroke or ischemic heart disease. So this is the diagrammatic representation where hypertension followed by smoking and then diabetes is the ma major risk factors. Amongst the clinical presentation, most of the patients were asymptomatic that is 57% and which is actually the most important, uh, th that is how the most patients present to us. They asymptomatic could have non-specific symptoms like headache or giddiness but it is just uh, Ill in less sustained. Amongst the uh, major clinical presentations, they are the pure motor, the, which is 24% of the total presentations. Then we have sensory motor, ataxic, hemiparesis and pure dysarthria. Amongst the pure motor, this is the radiological correlation between the various types of strokes. In the pure motor, the capsuloganglionic, which is the internal capsule, that part is the most uh, prominent involved part in the uh, capsuloganglionic region in the pure motor part. The sensory motor component, it has uh, equal in the coronary artery we have three and capsule ganglionic we had four lacunar infarcts in the ataxic hemiparesis there were multiple sites uh, in and amongst them cortical and coronary data were two and one respectively and pure dysarthria we had one in the brain stem and one we had multiple lacunar infarcts so most of the lacunar infarcts are silent and asymptomatic which is 57 percent which uh, presenting with non-specific symptoms like headache neck pain giddiness 43 patients out of the 100 were symptomatic lacunar infarcts with features of classical lacunar syndromes uh, like pure stroke being the most common type identified in 24 patients and most of them were located in the internal capsule region. The more restricted deficits such as the face plus arm or the arm plus leg or all three combined face, arm or leg localized to lacunes in the corona radiata or its junction with the internal capsule. Sensory motor strokes were seen in 11 out of 100 patients and uh, they have been attributed to regions in the posterior limb of the internal capsule interrupting the thalamocortical fibers or the thalamus medially. 10 patients out of the 100 had multiple infarcts having cortical infarcts in addition to a more standard lacunar lesion. The, now the multiple lesions were more seen in pure stroke which was 5 out of the total 24 patients in the pure motor stroke had 5, uh, five patients had multiple lesions and uh, out of those 5 they uh, the, out of the total 10 multiple lesions, 5 had belonging to the pure stroke. Interventions through lifestyle modification like cessation of smoking, alcohol, dietary modifications including low salt intake have a significant role in preventing hypertension and diabetes which can lead to redu reduction in the incidence of lacunar infarcts. So hypertension, smoking and third followed by diabetes were the three most common risk factors for lacunar infarcts. Pure motor hemiparesis is the most common type of symptomatic lacunar syndrome and patients with the lacunar stroke had lesions most commonly localized to the internal capsule region. Uh, 